Hello and welcome to Commercial Most TV. This week we've been joining in with Love a Lorry Week, I've been drinking in LA and we've been to Devizes to test drive a horse. Uh, this is Commercial Motor TV, I'm George Barrow and this is A Week in Trucks. Commercial Motor is celebrating its 110th birthday this year, so to commemorate this landmark occasion we'll be producing a special issue on the 26th of November. Back then, the big news though, was trying to convince people to put their horses out to pasture and to buy a newfangled steam engine truck. As you may have figured out, we kind of got there eventually. But as you'll see, not all towns have given up completely. Not all companies have sent their fleet to the glue factory. We went to Wadworth Brewery in Devizes to meet 12 year old Max and 11 year old Monty who still deliver beer to the local brewery's pubs. It's as if we've gone back to 1905 and the first issue of Commercial Motor, but how do they compare with a modern Euro 6 truck? Well, for a start, their appetites are rather larger, each requiring a mixture of chopped hay, finely milled bran, conditioning mix and molasses six times a day. Rather than beer, they also get carrots, apples and mints as a performance related bonus. As you can imagine, a diet like this results in rather a lot of emissions. Productivity isn't great either, managing just a two ton payload between them, and they aren't particularly fast either. But what Max and Monty have over every other truck in the country is good PR. Some members of the public don't like trucks, but everyone loves this pair, and we don't blame them. Trucks don't always get a good press, which is why the brewery keeps Max and Monty on staff. The RHA, however, is looking to change all that with National Lorry Week. The Love the Lorry campaign is looking to change the public perception of how they view trucks. We sent our reporter Emma Schoen along to Gatwick Group in Surrey to find out why they got involved. I am here at the Gatwick Group in Surrey, where the company has opened its yard for an entire week to the general public to show them what they do and what they're about. We wanted to be involved in National Lorry Week in order to better promote the lorries um, nationwide and get on board with the RHA. Um, we would love to demonstrate that lorries can do a positive thing. Um, we deliver goods and we ensure that infrastructure is maintained um, and that's something that we want everybody to know about um, and so we thought getting on board is a good way to showcase that to everybody. Today is the first day of National Lorry Week part of the RHA's Love the Lorry campaign, which it's running in a bid to raise the road transport industry's profile and improve its public image. Thanks Emma. No sooner had Love the Lorry Week finished, new legislation was brought in to make advanced emergency braking and lane departure warning systems compulsory on all commercial vehicles over 8 tonnes. Advanced emergency braking systems are designed to automatically identify an emergency situation and to alert the driver to take appropriate braking or steering action in order to prevent an accident. If the driver doesn't react and brake to avoid an accident, the system works to try and minimise or prevent the impact. The system uses the adaptive cruise control and emergency braking systems that have long been options on trucks to recognise and react to moving targets, while the lane departure warning uses the same radar technology used by cruise control to alert the driver if they stray from their lane. And you can learn more about those systems by clicking on the link at the end of the show. And finally, you might have been wondering why I've not been in the studio for a while. Well, probably not actually, but I've actually been in Los Angeles driving the American version of the Mercedes-Benz Vito. It's called the Metris, um, and it's based pretty much upon the European version because the Americans aren't very good at vans. There's one difference, however, and it's pretty obvious, as you'll see. The advert that we started running here, TV advertising, advertisement, is actually really good because it shows that it's it has all the space you need in the vehicle but it's still small enough for basically anybody to own it. Let's go to the drive-thru. Let's get another drink. Definitely. Thank you for waiting. Can I help you? Can I have uh, two extra large uh, Cokes? I'm sorry? Two extra large Cokes. Two large Cokes. Can I be up for you? Yeah, really, the really big ones. Can I be up for you? Yes, thank you. Okay, 345. Oh, that's fairly that's big. Ginormous. That's fairly big. <laughs> that's ginormous. Sorry. No, sorry. Say so it's a pretty big drink. No, there's still, still room. They're still too small. There's still plenty of room. We need bigger drinks. We need bigger drinks. You can fit the drink and the straw in the same cup holder. Um, just holding drinks. We use it to hold our phones and our. I think a lot of the. One of the use cases for this was also for people who are holding. Um, devices that they can put up here like a walkie-talkie 
Um, it's supposed to accommodate things like that. I think we need to find a bigger drink. It's Definitely. Sloshing around a bit. My cook's gonna get flat. It will. I think I found us a drink big enough to fit in the cup holder. Those are bigger than I thought they would be. There you go. Finally, a drink that fits. Huge. That is ridiculous. America, you win. You can find out more about the Mercedes-Benz Metris in next month's Van Advisor, which is out next week. And in case you were wondering, that double gulp cup was 1.4 litres. And after drinking all of that Coke, I really, really needed it. <laughs>